Welcome back to episode 10 of the PTR Park Ranger series for Legends and PTR Mod. Today we are going to try and get enough Renown to get our next retinue slot. That is the aim today. I don't know if we're going to successfully complete it, but we're going to try and take as many quests as we can and power through the episode as quickly as possible. All levels are looking pretty decent. We still have little bits of repair to go, but it's nothing super major. Um, and the inventory is mostly clean. But to uh, start us off, we have an undead location for 990, which is not too bad. We are still also looking for that extra passive person in the party. But we're going to have to wait a little bit till we find one. Daytime fights as usual. Oh, that's a lot of Noxidars. Hmm. Kinda was not expecting those guys to be in the fight, but... Whew, that's gonna be fun. Let's turn on reds, as usual. Oh, but they're so fast. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait for them to finish their turn first. There is a couple tier 2s. I'm a bit worried about them more so than the tier 1s. Yeah, axe in one turn, axe in two turns, so let's wait on Yogi. And technically, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That looks like the 19 that we have available to us. Kind of want them to get closer. But I also kind of don't. Why is Xan upset? What happened to you, bud? Everyone else is confident. Not sure why you're upset. Yeah, that puzzles me. Interesting. But the whole party is happy probably because of our good spirits and maybe because of Inspiring Presence. I, Yeah, yeah, we do have Inspiring Presence. Okay, so that's good. I'm considering on waiting for the bear to not be released just yet. A trick, let's try and weaken them a bit, especially the big one. That was a very nice hit. Uh, how do we want to do this? Spear wall? End our turn. Yaroslav can wait. Zan can finish his turn. That's nice. There's nothing else to do, basically. Yeah, we can go here in Spearwall. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's go for big boy. Nice. We can reach three of them. Nice. Good staggers. Graced eye socket. Pierced arm muscles. Nicely job, nice job, Phoenix. Without actually killing them too, we almost rolled a hundred damage at like so much range. Eighty-six, seventy-seven. Midas, I don't want to kill him. Can we do more than a hundred damage? Oh no, we can't. So we can just hit him. That's good. Let's go and throw here. We shouldn't be able to kill him. Oh, I was risking it there. Definitely risking it there. Uh, let's slow down... I don't know, one of them, I guess? Now let's see where they go. We want them to pile up, walk over the corpses as usual. They're all waiting. The bunch of jerks. And we lose the spear wall immediately. Oh, that's rough. Definitely rough. Oh, we can go for an offhand puncture? Huh, that works. That's a good spear wall. Uh, unfortunately, though, that gets a kill. Which means someone's gonna go for that body. Unfortunate miss, but that's okay. Big boy is scared. I think, is it bear time? Yeah, I think it's bear time. 
But we'll wait first. Turn done, three turns, 18. I'm gonna wait, because these guys are gonna be annoying. Let's spear wall again. Thraxus, my man, you gotta do this. That was very unfortunate. Nice, except the corpse went that way. Okay, I'm not so happy about that. They're still acting. We have to keep waiting. I hate doing this. We'll hit him. That's a very good shot. Let's wait. Let's wait. And let's wait. Where do they go? Nice. Come on, stop the spears. Yes! That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, bears come out right now. We go here, let the bear go north. And then walk back here. Beautiful. And here we go with this hit. And we move forward because we will be fine. It's risky, but we can do it. Uh, Thraxus, you're not doing anything else fancy. Let's move forward and go for the big boy. Yeah, he needs to die first. I want to move an attack, but I want two hits. Yeah, that's better. Mr. Ranger, can we get this kill? As much as I want the second bear, you're literally on one health. So he needs to die. Phoenix, reload and shoot for this beautiful cluster. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Roxy's... Let's kill him. No. Let's take this spot. And... I, I want to scare them, so if I go this one... Oh, it didn't really matter. There's the eating. Yep. Dan's fine. Somehow Roxy's gets two 20% on him. Eh, we tried. Big boy's back, little one's trying to run. I'm worried about these bottom ones eating, but there's not much we can do about it at the moment. There's a beautiful kill. Yeah, I saw that happening. Didn't want it to happen. Nice. The bear is on fire. Can we do something about these guys down here? No. We can do that. That works. Zan, I'm gonna have to get Thraxus down here. So let's put you here for some support. Yeah, take care of the big guy. I don't want him to eat again. That's the most important thing. Uh, can we reload quickly? Yeah, he needs to go. He needs to go, and they're fleeing. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Crossbow shot. Should we go for the snipe on this one? Or should we go... Five turns? He hasn't had his turn yet. But we can't do anything about it, sadly. Uh, let's just go here and shoot this guy. That's some nice damage. Uh, reload and... I don't want to hit our guys. That's not a wise choice. So let's just go forward. Uh, what I'd like to do is set the bear out, actually. Because I don't think we can do 100 damage with two shots. Yeah, definitely not. So let's go here and set the bear out. And hopefully, yeah, the bear is going to hit our own guys, sadly. But yeah, we didn't have to worry about a tier 3. And that's some good damage. Nice. Beautiful stuns. 
It's a good kill. And I think that's it. These guys are probably just going to run. So we don't have a chance to catch them. And that's perfectly fine. It's over. A decent amount of XP, actually. And... Uh, yeah, kind of crappy loot. Kind of expected that. But that's okay. Let's go back and get paid and get the Renown boost, as usual. Hopefully by the time we get back there's another quest available. No. Unfortunately not. Furs aren't even at a good price yet. The Warbow's down to 3k. But I still can't justify that crazy price. Is there anything I can justify to buy? Not really, because we want to get the expensive bounty hunter and we want to get new retinue, new people as well. Yeah, we have to save our cash. Okay, let's keep going. Keep trying to finish off these quests. Hopefully a noble quest comes along. No. That is very cheap tools, and I'm going to grab them. Uh, nothing else piques my interest, sadly, so... Wait, let's quickly check to see if there is a herbalist. I think we checked before. Yeah, there's nothing here. Let's... I know we came down this way. Let's go west. Fine. We'll go down that route. See if we get any luck out here for quests. At the moment, we're sitting on 1294. We won't get too much written, uh, resolve for, um, what am I saying? Wrong ones. Renown. Too many R words. <laughs> won't get that much for just fighting a random bunch of barbarians. Doing quests does more. There is a herbalist. Oh, he's healthy. Anything useful on you, bud? Yeah, he has practically everything he needs on a herbalist. At least he's not double-tongued, which is the main reason we were worried about. So, tough keeps him alive. Unpredictable is not too bad. Let's take him. He actually has decent stats. That's the funny part. But we have our herbalist sitting in the back ranks. Let's keep you alive with some sort of armor. 65 is actually pretty decent. I'm trying to see if anybody else desperately needs that 65. And it doesn't seem to be at the moment, but we do want to save that for someone else. So let's give you the 55, the plus 25, and just our basic helmet situation. Yeah, that works good enough. And you're automatically put as reserve fighting status, which is really nice. Uh, we want mainly things like medical ingredients to increase our storage. We want Herbcraft to be able to craft medicines. Gatherer to... Allow you to find special items when you're gathering on camping. Field triage so we can get a surgeon eventually. That would be nice. It's just going to take forever. Because if you're not in combat, you don't get as much XP. It's a lot easier to get XP when you're camping and stuff. But yeah, welcome to the party. I'll have to get the names list up and see who's next on our list. And I believe Savannah is next on the list. Welcome to the party. Sadly, you're not going to be doing too much fighting at the moment. But whenever emergency situations like if ambushes happen, you'll most likely join the party. And we'll keep you nice and safe as our resident nurse, I guess, is the way to put it. <laughs> but all good. Let's keep going and trying to pump out those quests. Not bad. There is a quest. That's what I like to see. Caravan four days southeast. That's a long one, but we'll take it. 
475 is still a bit rough. Yeah, nothing piquing my interest here. Okay, this is our time to shine. Let's try and get our new person some levels. Uh, normally I'd put him on gathering and stuff, but we do need the levels to get those cool perks. We'll keep Uber on his job. He's almost done one of them. Sheesh. Uh, should we get another immunity one? Why not? These will be very valuable and useful for the team. So I'll have to keep remembering to keep those pumping out. Uh, we do have a little bit of salvage to do, but not much. So we might as well just train for as long as possible. With the food situation, we could sell some crap that we don't need. Eight days, five days, six days, five days. We'll get rid of the... Oh, that was a nine days one, my bad. Yeah, I'll get rid of those ones at the moment. Selling for 19. That's good enough to empty the inventory a little bit. Just in case things come along the way. Because I'm sure we'll fight something. Yeah, that looks good enough. 55 on the inventory is not too bad. Okay, let's go. Lots of training to do. And an armor rune sigil of resilience. And it's done. Good luck, I guess. No, you should go home to your parents, buddy. Don't go and fight barbarians and stuff. There we are. Okay, so let's quickly stop the training. Oh, we already got a broken arm. Sheesh, a trick. Take care of yourself, man. How do you break an arm whilst training? Um, but regardless of that, I don't think we have immunities on our front lines just yet. Yaroslav is working on it. And that's it, basically. Thraxus can't get immunities, so the only way he can get it is through his armor sigil. And look at that. He just gets immunities. He saves two perks with one rune. How amazing is that? That means we can spend perks on other things. Uh, technically, Yaroslav didn't need to go for immunities because we can get the rune. But it also allows him to get the rune for some other reason, which I'm assuming is the defensive one. We can give him that one instead. But yeah, really cool stuff, eh? And we'll keep trying to pump some of those out for Yogi, because that's going to be very helpful for him. He doesn't get access to immunities as far as I can see. I might be blind, and I don't see it amongst all the giant perks, but he doesn't look like he has it. Uh, and Roxy's also doesn't get it, so very nice to get three of those on the party so far. Uh, let's go back to it, but quickly, sorting out the injury, Mr. Trick. Let's put... Thraxus on the job. Thraxus will fix you up. Ah, uh, but I think I did the problem again, didn't I? Yep. Nope, it's actually fine. It's fine. Okay. I panicked that it cancelled itself. Not a problem. Now, we're probably going to get ambushed by barbarians. 23 brigands. And they don't want anything to do with us? Are they fighting barbarians or something? Sheesh. A trick fr fractured elbow? We just fixed your broken arm, man. <laughs> what are you doing to yourself? How did you get two injuries back to back? Sheesh, you're doing some rough training. I don't want to see another injury after we've just fixed this one. Okay, Midas breaks his arm. I think I know one of the next things that we're going to be buying. And that is most definitely the training camp upgrade. Sheesh, that's a lot of broken arms. It's not going to be from here. We have to stop over at a... Thank God there's no more injuries. We're going to have to stop over at a citadel to try and buy the training camp upgrade. There is some barbarians around here somewhere.
But that has to be on our next list. Uh, we'll bring a pup into the party. Yes! Sweet! We got a free Warhound. Lucky rolls right there. Now, who's going to grab the Warhound? Yeah, Midas can do it. It's three action points. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, it does make sense to put on Midas. Uh, we'll keep the ranged people in the back ranks to hold most of the animals. Yeah, that should be fine for the moment. Yep. Yeah, forgot that this was still camping. All good. No injuries. That's good to see. We've almost finished another resilient rune. That's nice to see. No, they won't have it here. Let's see, there we go. We're just getting chased. Just before we get chased, let's finish up. Put the Rune of Resilience on someone else. Oh, it's beautiful. Does Yogi need it, or does Roxy's need it more? We'll give it to Yogi for the moment. Also, Savannah's gotten a level up. Very nice to see. And... I normally don't go with combat abilities for a retinue person, a reserve person, but surprisingly enough, the combat abilities of Savannah are not too bad. So I'm going to stack them up just in case she ever needs to get into combat. And I want that 3 resolve, but should I go for the 4 health? Yeah, I'm going to go for the 4 health. Now, to start us off, I think Medical Ingredients is the right way to go. Alert is good for your reserves, because you want them to run away quickly. But... Yeah, just Medical Ingredients. To unlocked crafting of bandages and medicine. Increases your maximum meta storage by 5, I mean by 10, and resolve by 5%, so that helps us to get a little bit more there when we need it. Sweet! Uh, let's go back to caravanning, and we get ambushed by some raiders, some poachers, some thugs. This doesn't seem like a strong party, but it is 19 enemies. We get some free high ground. I like the looks of that. And the dog already dodges a 92. Fair enough. A trick, I want you to have high ground and shoot him. That was unfortunate. And so was that. A 95 and an 87. And a 92 missed. In the first round of combat. Okay. Looking great. Oh yeah, and because we've got ambush, Savannah's here. Hey, Savannah. Thanks for joining us. You'll take the high ground and stay safe on the flank. Normally, Savannah doesn't join fights because we can only field 12. But when defending caravans, she can join the fights. Uh, Yaroslav, I don't like him. But I do need you to be over here to shield wall. They have a monk. That's not scary. It's annoying because it's going to rally them if they ever do have problems. That's a beautiful body shot, Zan. Kinda wanted that to be a headshot, but that's okay. Uh, Dan, let's get you on this guy. Yes, the headshot. Proxies. Nice. Mr. Ranger. You can only do body shots, can't you? No, you can do headshots, that's right. But I want the bear out as well. Ah, uh, who do we need to deal with? I want him dead, but I can't get a good shot without putting out the bear. I also want to counter snipe. That's right! I forgot his main thing is counter sniping. Okay, so the bear comes out, we go for a random shot on him. Nice. Then, for the rest of the fight, we counter snipe. 
The bear is going for the back lines, which kind of ruins the counter sniping thing, but that's okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I want to go here, is that right? And then go for that angle. Yes, I do. Look at this. Let's go. 95. That's a beautiful quad hit. Phoenix is disgustingly strong at the moment. And I'm loving it. Midas, can we go here? Oh, the broken arm. Oh, that's so bad. We have to risk it, though. I want this shot. Oh, that was a bad risk. Hey, Valentino, it's your job. Yes! We got rid of the threat. Whew. Okay, Uber. Let's go here. Let's get rid of the dog. And let's bring up the bear. Nice. The bear's covering the top flank. Bear's covering the bottom flank. That's what we like to see. Okay. Let's finish this up nice and quick. Counter sniping when we can. And the bear is dealing with whatever they can at the moment. Obviously trying to flank. It's not going to last long. Savannah, I'd love you to steal a kill, but that's a little bit dangerous. So let's wait. Nice. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. The monk was going to be annoying regardless. Nice hit by the bear. Yeah, the monk saving everybody from being feared is... It's going to be annoying, but we'll survive. Can we go two spaces for him? Nice. Then Savannah can 1v1 that guy. That's definitely true. Uh, two spaces for the bash. Uber, I'm putting you in a slight bit of danger, but you'll be fine. Definitely you'll be fine. Let's go for... 72, 95. 95 sounds pretty good to me. Yeah. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Dan is pretty tanky at the moment. Let's go for that beautiful shot. Oh. So much damage. Valentino does so much damage. I love it. Let's go for the lucky shot. Ha 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 ha. It's beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. Midas, I'm going to risk this. Let's go forward and shoot this guy. Nice. Sadly, it was a body shot. Uh, Roxy's, let's go here into this spot. Nice. And let's counter snipe. Beautiful. Let's counter snipe again. No, he's got too much armor. Let's counter snipe this one. Ah, oh, we didn't get the kill. Let's save Uber. There we go. And Savannah. Almost. Nice hit, though. Rolling on 71. That's beautiful. Who's risky at the moment? Dan's in a slightly risky position, but the caravan hand is a little bit <laughs> a little bit more risky than that. Nice. Good kills, good kills. That was a beautiful white flag. Uh should we steal the kill 16 one turn? Ooh, Savannah could steal a kill. Let's see if she gets her first kill. Oh that was unfortunate. I hope I didn't jinx it. <laughs> there we go. Zan has to steal it. Let's get that 80% and we miss? Damn. <gasps> Mr. Ranger got counter sniped. Uh, Valentino is struggling because there's somebody in melee with her. With him. Her. Can't tell. Let's go for the gunshot that way. I want the Butcher dead, but the Yogi is in the way. <laughs> Midas almost gets the kill. Uh, I want to get this Brigand Raider out of the way so we can counter-snipe a little bit easier. 
Or we can just counter snipe because we can counter snipe. That's okay, it's just a couple of bleeding from grazes. You'll be fine. A trick gets the beautiful snipe. Let's get that snipe. Oh, we tried. Valentina with the something. Let's get this guy. Nice. He bleeds out. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's get that shot down the back. Nice. Uh, 12 turns, 21 turns. The bear is going to screw up this kill. So we go for the monk instead. We technically should save the carrion hand from dying. Because he's important for the quest. Oh, this guy got rallied by the monk? Aw, oh, he was fleeing, man. Darn monks. Let's hide behind him just so the bear doesn't push him away. Yes, we get the hit. Good job, Dan. Uh, Uber, let's go for the monk. Nice! You checked both their morales and took them down. Uh, let's snipe this guy. Nice. Dang it, Midas. That broken arm is not doing any works for you. Fenix almost gets the kill. But I think Valentino can steal it. Beautiful. Now we need to get rid of this monk. We need to counter snipe as best as we can. But I'm gonna wait because he's gonna get stabbed. And then we can counter snipe him. That's how it's done. And we're so close to getting this one. I don't want the bear jumping in. But I don't think we have a choice. Oh, we might have a choice. Oh, we probably don't. Oh. Yeah, we can stop the bear. We're going against our own guys. Yes, we stopped the bear from stealing the kill. Now it's all down to Mr. Ranger if he can snipe. Can we snipe through our own guy? Or do we accidentally stab our own person in the back? What's the chance? 72? I think that's a 95. That's how it's done. Constantly getting them stacks. Beautiful. And look at the armor we got. I was not expecting to get a good amount of armor. And some good weapons. And 100 bucks. That worked out nice. Now we should put a few things on repair as usual. Make some cash out of this. A nice 70 helmet. Ooh, that's a good upgrade. Yeah, I think Yaroslav can use that upgrade. Looking good. There's a 50... Which is technically an upgrade. Not a gigantic upgrade, but it's an upgrade nonetheless. There we go. Do we care about vision? No, not on Fennec, so he can have a slightly better helmet. And I think everybody has the tier 2, don't they? Except for Savannah. There you go, Savannah. Let's sort you out with the company standard <laughs> headbands. Company headbands, basically. <laughs> uh, it all works out. Let's put a few of these on salvage as well, because I'm sure we'll have time to salvage them along the way. We do have some nice attachments here as well. We might be able to convince ourselves to do this instead. Kind of ruins our life a bit, but balance gets a little bit stronger. So that's actually a decent change, but wait a minute. What if I switch it out for 55?
Our lithe is 75. Six defense. How is that different? Six and two, seventy-five, six and fifteen. Seven and two, seventy-six, and seven and fifteen. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, screw it. We'll stay with the 72. Yeah, no difference between those ones. Fair enough. Almost everything is sorted as far as I can see. I'm probably forgetting something, but it looks okay. Uh, we can probably repair those from some cash. That's what we needed to do. And in terms of armor, everyone's looking pretty decent. 80 for 11. Yeah, 105 for 18 is way too heavy. So we might be moving away from that. 55 for 7. That's a little bit better. And that helps the nimble a little bit better, too. 161 down to 136. But it does make nimble a lot better, and it helps out with our dodge... Yeah, we'll keep that one instead. Starting to get slightly better armors in the party, and that is lovely to see. Mr. Ranger gets a level? Look at that. The hit points are tempting, but I really want that fatigue. Yeah, I do. Look at that, 125 fatigue. That's beautiful. Okay, what do we grab? We have our favorite enemy, Archer. 10% of your skill as base minimum and maximum damage. Successful aimed tire shot gets the fire on the round. 20% of your range skill, that's good. And hip shooter for the three quick shots. Okay, so here's the here's the choices. Three quick shots for a bit of fatigue, which we don't care about because we have infinite fatigue almost. Marksmanship, which is just extra damage on all shots. Or aim shots that do more damage because they light the tile on fire. And they trigger the res resolve check. Also, my goodness, we've got hair splitter. I didn't realize that before. We can go headhunting sniping. Small target, hair splitter, that's 40%. 65%. Ooh, that's scary. I like it. I might want to go that route eventually as well. Oh, there's so many opportunities to be amazing. But we have to pick the right choices here. There's also 5% range skill from ammunition binding. And 5% range defense from ammunition bundle. Which are nice little buffs. There's also know your weakness. That's extra range skill. Okay, so we have good range skill. I want damage. How do we do damage? Triple shot sounds good. But making every arrow count sounds better. So let's go with marksmanship. That's an extra 11 minimum and maximum damage. Which is it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, it says base range skill, so maybe it's not 110. Because 110 includes our 12 wind reader. So it's probably a, a, a plus 9, because it's now 49. Yeah. It's only plus 9 minimum maximum. But that's still good. It'll go to plus 10 soon. And yeah, I still can't complain about that at all. Okay, let's keep caravanning. And I think we're doing a little bit of salvage. No, we're not. We're just repairing things from the fight. Oh, Dan smashed hand. Okay. Okay. I think that's it for the training at the moment. You guys keep breaking yourselves. We're running out of medical supplies. Let's sort that out. And, yeah, you guys keep hurting yourselves. So let's put Savannah, who's really good at gathering, really good at injury, and fix you guys up nice and quick. Someone wants to race the horse. 300 bucks. 
Mm, no. No, it's better if you have the event person on that to make a bigger difference. Okay, you guys are all fixed. Let's go back to everybody on gathering. And let's see how many medicine we can get from this. We're not too far away from our destination. It is a stone keep, so please, please have a training camp upgrade because we are suffering with all these injuries. Medicine is rolling in like crazy. Happy to see that. And we get paid out. Look at that. Crazy XP from that. 67 meds. And how many levels? Almost across the board. Roxy's, what do we got? Four, four, and... I guess, yeah? Oh, actually, wait, I'm very tempted. Let's get you that plus three melee skill. I know we can get the resolve later on, because we always get fours. So let's just do that instead. Get you on 61. And defensively, we can grab cover ally, maybe? I'm leaning towards Bulwark because we'll get it eventually. So we might as well just grab it now. Yeah, we'll grab Bulwark. Plus 5 resolve, plus 5 resolve at negative morale checks, except mental attacks. So why not? That's just beautiful. Thraxus, what do we got, my man? We've got 3, 4, and as always, that resolve is tempting. But you keep rolling 3s in your melee skill, man. Oh, but we do need that fatigue, don't we? Because I'm trying to figure out how do we maximize this. We've got Lithe at 70. Oh, that's why it was funny before, because the armor wasn't repaired. That's probably what was having the problem. So we're sitting on 25 fatigue. So Lithe is at 70. Or was I looking at somebody else? No, you were the person I was looking at. Your balance only gives 7 and 2. Why is that? Current initiative is lower than twice your armor's weight. That's bad. You want to wear heavier armor. So it actually is a bit tricky to keep the balance up. But in all honesty, 7 is still something. And we're still being perfectly fit. Reduces the penalty to initiative and head from the body armor. Lowers fatigue cost of skills. When your penalty is maximum fatigue, your head and body is more than half your fa maximum fatigue after gear. So we never want to go above 31. We're sitting on 25 fatigue, 5 for the helmet, 20 for the body. So in order to wear slightly heavier armor, and a heavier shield, which we want later on, we need to stack your fatigue. So that's very important. So sadly, I can't get you your melee skill up, because we want to have heavier armor. That means we need more fatigue. Now, defensively, what do we want? We have the cool, better grip. I'm very happy we grabbed that recently. Uh, Mind of our body doesn't help us. Skillful stacking would allow us to get more armor weight, eventually. Fortified Mind is just good in general. I'm not seeing many defensives here that's going to help us too much. If we grab field repairs, we can get a blacksmith. When using a spear... Well, here's the thing. Why be so defensive when we're actually pretty aggressive? We could just go for king of all weapons to get a free spear thrust every turn. I don't see why having a little bit of damage hurts. I mean, we are, we are tiny. But, yeah, nothing's really jumping out at me. We could get Anticipation. It would help. It wouldn't be, like, something insane. True Believer is, like, okay. Yeah, let's go for some more aggressiveness. We need some damage output. Let's go King of All Weapons. A free thrust during your turn. Costs no action points, builds no fatigue but does 50% reduced damage, so we can just do a little bit more pokey damage for you, man. And out of all of our tanks, you have the highest melee skill because of 
better grip, and because you're using a spear, and you keep getting those lovely rolls, so why not? Why did we get alert? Oh, it was to help out with, um... Stuff like this. Yeah. Sounds good. We can also get dodged later if we really want to as well. Valentina, level 11. Look at those beautiful stats. And I am leaning towards that health. Just because a plus 2 doesn't make the biggest difference in the world. And 72 health just looks great on somebody who doesn't really need the health. <laughs> okay, let's see what we're going to get. In terms of throwing stuff, we can go for the headshots, which I don't really care that much for. What else do we get for throwing? We get extra ammo when we stand over corpses. I think that's okay. It sounds good in practice, but the chance of you walking over corpses throughout an entire fight is kind of rare. Unless it's like a really long fight, or a really big fight, but most of the time you're trying to stay behind where the corpses are piling up. Uh, throwing weapons do more when you move towards the target. I don't like that one. It's not going to make the biggest difference. I mean, it's not bad. You usually get about 10 or 20. Perfect fit for reduction in fatigue. That's actually pretty good. Throwing stuff costs a bit of fatigue. And we're already not using anything fancy. So I might go for perfect fit. No other weakness is good for the kills. You get extra skill, which means we'll never, ever, ever miss. I want to know if marksmanship works, because that would be beautiful damage. 10% of your base range skill as minimum maximum damage on a throwing weapon? That's actually really strong. So I'm going to grab that, because I do believe throwing weapons are ranged. And let's see if it actually makes a difference. 30 to 45? 38 to 53. That's beautiful, and I love it. That was a good choice. What else should we get? Uh, bullseye doesn't make a big difference. We don't need the Paymaster stuff. Ballistics, we... It would be helpful. But I don't think we need it. Minus 10 per tile of distance. I'm more leaning towards know their weakness, because if we're going to get a lot of kills, Ballistics is nice, but this could stack up for a long fight. Oh, but we needed bags and belts. I forgot. That's what we desperately needed. There we go. There we go. Look at the inventory filling up. And now I can justify and say, let's hold five sets of throwing weapons. Let's put a shield on. And look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 throwing weapons, which will last at least 12, 13 turns minimum. Perfect. Valentino is perfectly set, and I don't think I missed anything. Double strike's okay, but for the most part, I'm happy with pretty much everything we got. Perfect fit would have been nice to reduce the fatigue costs, but more damage for every shot and more shots, yeah. Phoenix, let's keep going with that. Oh, yes, you got the plus four. Four, and sadly the three, but that's okay. Sitting on 93 range skill. Very nice. And what do we need from you now? We need Fearsome. Uh, ballistics could help. But I'm going to go Fearsome. We became a Fearsome Gunner for a reason. And it's too bad we've been rolling a little low on Resolve. But we're going to try and max that out with... Uh, the residual layer is not... I don't know if we'll get better than 6%, but we'll try. We can also get things like uh, tabards and stuff. Xan. Let's keep going with those plus ones. Nicely done. Midas, what do we got? 5 and a 4? Beautiful. And we'll go for that health. And I'm going to lean towards Wind Reader. Yeah, 25% chance that the head sounds good as well. But I want your accuracy to keep going higher. 
Accuracy is my favorite thing. Uber, nice three, nice five, and nice four. Weapon sigils, that sounds pretty good. We are almost running out of the armor sigils, but I want you to get Rising Star first. More, more XP. A trick, nice, plus four there, and we don't really need the health, but that does sound like a nice pickup anyways. Uh, let's get Wind Reader for that accuracy. And Savannah, nice level ups. We do need Resolve, just in case. Yeah, we'll do it again. Nicely done, and... I'm leaning towards the Sickle, just so you can be useful with your low-level Sickle. And I'm kind of thinking about efficient packing. Sickle for damage, we don't really care, we just need the accuracy in case we ever get into a fight. But I want us to get skillful packing because that gives us more stash space. Helps us collect a bunch of stuff. Very nice. Okay, so. Please have what we want. This town has to have it. They don't. It's a scout station. And their tools and supplies are very nice and cheap. There is a brand new helmet. Who's going to get this one? It should be Roxy's, I believe, as our frontliner. What is that? Is that a swan? Very nice. Looking good. Oh, I hope that one of these places has it. Wow, three of the exact same helmet. Well, we're going to be spending money today if I get a little bit too loose in the pocket. Sheesh, five for 124. That is so strong as a nimble armor. That is insanely good. Five for 80 is okay, I've seen better. Dang. Weaponsmith, what do we got? That is a golden axe. That is a beautiful two-handed axe. Whoo! Military golden dag. That looks pretty strong. A famed pike. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. I want that axe. I don't think we have an axe person in the party, do we? We've got two pole arms and just our front liners. Wait a minute, because we have pole arms, is that a good pole arm for us? No, not really. No. It didn't roll extra chance to hit the head, which is something I'd really like to see. It's got 44% ignoring armor, which is nice, and minus two fatigues build up. I like that axe, though. If we had an axe brother, I'd get that axe. We don't have the money for it, though. Uh, selling for 17 is not amazing, so let's not do much here for buying and selling. Yeah, sad times. Fighting goblins don't come cheap. That is true, but I am interested in doing a $3,000 goblin quest. I'm very interested. What did we do wrong? Uh... We still need to fight beasts. And we can't get another slot. Hmm. Unfortunate. This will give us a lot of renown, this quest. So we do want to take it. We're running out of food. Let's sort that problem out. That's sorted out mostly. Goblins give a lot of loot. So we might as well sell a bunch of the crap. Even though it is selling for 17, we can still empty up the inventory a little bit. That's probably enough. Not bad. How far is Furnished Fist? Furnished Fist. Oh, it's literally next door. Sweet. Now, here comes the fun part. This is going to be during the day. And goblins have a lot of archers. Can we buy some archer shields? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh boy. Definitely switching to archer shields for now. 
We'll buy the second one available as well. And Valentino is definitely keeping this for the rest of his life. Heater shields are okay, but definitely archer shields are the way to go. Does the marketplace have an extra one? Yikes. Only normal ones. Uh, we do have a tabard, and I'm going to buy that, especially for Phoenix. There you go, looking very flashy. Can I get you anything else? Can I get anyone anything else? I want to get a slinger in the party when we next upgrade our size, so I can try and get us a northern sling and a southern sling, and then the party will be complete. I also do want to get a throwing spear. I don't think that's going to be helpful against goblins. It's not. Also, that faction helmet, I don't think we have that in the team yet. Uh, Yogi can keep his bear helmet because he's a... whatchamacallit, he's a, a druid. So Valentino could probably get the next helmet. You got the horse? Looking good. And we'll just keep adding cool helmets to everybody as time goes on and as we find new ones. I love the cool fashion in this game. 55 for 56 bucks, that's tempting. But everybody's doing pretty good for armor. What am I missing? What am I missing? We have the most amazing counter sniper, and I want him to keep shooting, so I've got to give the bear to someone else. A trick? It's your job to hold the bear now. Uber, you hold the bear. Lord Midas. You can hold the dog, because we won't release it until we need to. Yeah, that seems like a good combination for the moment. Also, it would be really hilarious if I got somebody to use the, use the loot. It surprisingly does good damage. That does a lot of damage. We might have to get somebody in the next uh, retinue upgrade to utilize the loot. <laughs> Anyways, I want to see if there's a warbow. Did I no notice if there's a warbow available? There is not. Unfortunate. But that's okay. Let's go hunting for goblins. Wait, that's not east of Furnish Fest. That's east of, like, Friedwald. Ah, at least it's pretty close. Unfortunately, we are closing to the end of the episode, so this fight might be a little bit too big for us to keep going on with the episode, so we might have to end it when we just get out the front of it. Or take, like, a mini fight beforehand. There's 11 goblin hunters? You know what? Screw it. We'll take them first. We'll do a quick 11 goblin fight. Oh, a hill. Okay. I know the goblins are getting chased by something, so we might have to deal with that too next episode. And it's nighttime. Well, that's good for us and bad for us at the same time. But let's run up to the top and regret doing that immediately. Because of that. <laughs> Getting the net thrown on top of us. Okay, Uber, let's get the bear out. Bears love goblins. Yes, they do. A trick, let's also bring the bear out by going here and doing that. Thraxus, let's jump right into the front lines because you have clarity and Pathfinder because the whole team is Pathfinder. We can just climb mountains all day, every day. Oh, you gotta love that. It's so good. How does it feel? Ooh, it feels pretty good. Just running up mountains like it was nothing. Like it's literally nothing. Mr. Ranger has to snipe, but unfortunately, he can't see them. Fenix gunning against goblins is amazing. Sniping goblins is amazing. Oh, I like fighting goblins. As long as there's no shaman, like, I'll say that the Overseer's headshots can be annoying. The shaman can be a pain in the ass. But for the most part... Oh, I can't free our allies because we've only got three left. 
Dang it. But for the most part, goblins are fun to fight, because it's just a swarm of 40 health enemies that you can just kill with a gun. Oh, that's a bad poison. Oh my goodness. Mr. Ranger, please don't die, my man. We're not meant to be um, losing to goblins. <laughs> we got a big goblin fight coming up. We can't show it. She can't lose to the little goblins. That's three spears. One of them hit. That's nice. Uh, let's go here. Nice bear. Good job. Don't like it when the camera does that. Uh, let's go here for this hit. Dang it. That's a good kill, Xan. Let's go back. Okay, Mr. Ranger, can we counter snipe? Oh, we can't see because we're poisoned. That's so annoying. And we have no action points. Sheesh. Let's go out here. Valentino, my friend, you have to go and hit somebody. Beautiful. Midas? Ah, oh, unfortunate. Let's aim at a distance. And sadly, we only hit two, and the Fearsome did hit quite well. So Fenix is doing a great job. Yaroslav is checking their morale, which is beautiful. Now let's hope they don't get more lucky shots on us, because that would be nice to not get hit. Uh-huh, the footwork, weirdly enough. They're rolling on 19s and 28s hit a trick and Mr. Ranger. So let's hope that does not last long. Oh, come on, 81. And we miss a 38 as well. Nice 32. And nice 49. The bear gets the, oh my goodness, a double kill. There's the double kill. Yeah. Bears are having a fun time, I'll tell you that. That's the three spears sadly missing. Beautiful throwing weapons. We're gonna have to go into melee, Dan, sadly. Uh, Zan, let's go over here. That didn't work. Nice! Mr. Ranger, can we get the snipe? Yeah, but it didn't do very much damage, sadly. Sadly, that missed as well. <laughs> what was that footwork to walk back to the bear? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, weird stuff. That's what happens. Nice lucky shots a trick. That was that was calculated. I didn't even know you could do that. Uh I don't think we can get to this goblin. He's kinda stuck there. There we go. What was that noise? Why were things sounding like they were breaking and being unequipped? Regardless, we got some really nice Leather Goblin Helms. Tier 2's 1 for 25's, that's nice. We got Cruel Falchions, very nice. We got Notched Blades, which are helpful for the Sickle Brothers. The Sickle people in the team. Uh, Bundle of Spiked Bolas are very nice as well. Uh, they are the blunt throwing weapons that can stun people with Valentino, so we will give him one of those. But all in all, a fight that took us with a little bit too much damage. And they were getting chased by Greenwood Shrats? 
Holy crap, I can see why they were ha unhappy. I'm not really in the mood to fight a legendary Shrat. Yeah. Uh, we don't have any Axe people on the team. I mean, we have an Axe. Or did we sell it? We sold it. <laughs> uh, but I'm not super keen. There we go. We'll switch that out for the moment. Give you a Notched Blade. Maybe give Yogi a Notched Blade if we ever get that Harvest Twist. Because that's just some nice damage. Actually, is a Notch Blade better than a Sickle? Yeah, it is. It does more damage. It ignores armor. And then with the Sickle perk, it does an extra 25% armor piercing. On top of that, even though it doesn't look like it says it there. If I go out and back in, does it say it now? No, it doesn't show it on the tooltip. I'm not sure if that says it correctly or is correctly on the weapon. Regardless, um, what am I doing? Repairing these, salvaging these. That looks pretty good. And running away from Greenwood Shrats, so let's uh, not fight that. As a ranged party, that is a bit too much for us at the moment. So I'm going to quickly come back over here to camp. They're probably not chasing us anymore. We need to heal up quickly and then be able to be ready for next episode. Where we're going to fight a beautiful set of goblins. Five hours for healing. Sounds good to me. Looking good. Uh, Midas, do you want to knock down that cat out of the tree? You killed the cat and finally got some things to eat for the kids. <laughs> good job on your permanent plus one range skill. I love that event. It's so funny. Save my cat uh, so I can eat it. <laughs> well, there's no injuries and everyone's back to full health. Very happy to see that. We will quickly mosey on over to the goblins and we'll have to end the episode there. Let's safely go there without the shrats after us. Because that was actually really scary. Mainly just because shrats, you want to beat them with an axe person in the party. You gotta break their heart open. Oh my goodness, that's four lindworms. I actually want to do that fight as well. Uh, do I really want to do it though? I'm not going to do it this episode, but I'm considering it for next episode. We have some really nice tanks. Thraxus is doing really well. I don't think we need things from Lindworms. I like their shields. But my favorite shield is the one that repairs itself. We do need to beat packs of roving beasts, though. They're not chasing us, though, so we might abandon them just for a bit. We can always come back later. Not many things mess with Lindworms. Lots of goblin am- lots of skirmish skirmishers and a few ambushers. So this is a fight we can do during the day, so I don't have to panic and worry about doing a night fight for the party. We can counter snipe those goblins really easy with Mr. Ranger. So that sounds like a plan indeed. Anyways, I've been talking for too long as usual and have gone over time. I hope you guys enjoyed today and I hope you enjoy next episode as well when we try and take on a lot more goblins and it's not on the hills and they won't be able to snipe us as badly, I hope. And how is our... We're getting close. We're getting close. This will get us close to the next retinue slot. Anyways, catch us the next one. See us.